Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be talking about some of the ideas in my new book, which is here, AI Powered Pedagogy Redefining Education and specifically talking about the critical need for an evolving unified AI policy. So if you're interested in this topic, then please keep on watching. So chapter two in this particular book here is all about the critical need for an evolving, so it has to be dynamic and live, unified AI policy. And with the prevalence, I think, of more and more AI tools and usage by teachers and, and in fact, the world all over, it's really important that we set some guidelines and and use the design thinking process to help us co-construct a policy that is actually suitable to your school context. So why do we need a unified AI policy and why does it need to be evolving? I'm just going to read a quote from a lovely teacher about why we actually need it. This teacher said, one of the major challenges I face is when teachers have different expectations of how students can or cannot use AI for their assignments. Now, some students have retorted that teacher A or teacher B allows them to copy and paste the results or the response from the AI to use as a credible source. Now, we know that that's probably not the best use of AI as a credible source. We know that AI tools actually hallucinate and, and they're not factually accurate as they are large language models. So it's really important that I think our students really understand that AI cannot be used as a credible source necessarily. There are AI tools that give links directly to websites and research articles. And in those cases where the information has been verified, then I would actually use the information from any AI tool. But this teacher goes on to say, this is because the rate of AI integration for teachers is quite varied. And those who are more technologically inclined are running with it while others are either avoiding it or haven't had the time to support or explore it very much. And then this wonderful experience teacher goes on to say, it's often very clear when students have plagiarized their work. And I can always tell, I must say, when my students have just copied straight from an AI tool. Um, so teachers have resorted to having follow-up conversations with students on the work submitted to help ascertain their learning. So I think that's really good idea to talk to your students about what they've actually learned and what they understand from the assignment. And then the teacher says, however, some teachers are more interested in catching students who have used AI than they are in teaching students how to ethically use AI to support their learning. So if the school adopted a unified approach to AI integration, many of these challenges could be mitigated. And so I think it's really important that as a school and every school has an evolving unified AI policy that's live, that's dynamic, I discuss a lot of the reasons why this would be beneficial in a school context. Now, I give some suggestions on how to actually design an evolving unified AI policy. And that's starting with using design thinking as a framework to help us design this policy. I have six steps in my book to, pro uh, to provide guidance and I'll just read them out. Step one, engage stakeholders and that aligns with the empathize stage in design thinking. Step two, define your goals and scope, which is the defined stage in design thinking. Number three, assess the risks and benefits that aligns with the empathize and ideate stages in design thinking. Stage four is actually draft the policy, and this is a prototype. So we have to get feedback. We use this initial draft with all of the stakeholders involved to get feedback. And then we review and revise. This is step five, where we prototype and actually test it out with the school community. And then step six is implement and educate about the AI policy. But I want to stress that it's really important that this AI policy is evolving because AI technology is exponentially changing at a rapidly fast rate. And so we need to be really open about ensuring that our policies are, can be adapted and that they're evolving in case there are new tools or new challenges that are presented to us. 
So there are a few ideas from chapter two uh, in my book, AI Powered Pedagogy. Please, if you have any questions, put it in the comment section below. I did release the companion adult coloring in book as well. So I know some of you have ordered that. And that contains most of the key ideas and the pictures from the book. This week, I also introduced everyone to this beautiful, inclusive companion, Pedagucci. So here's Pedagucci here. Uh, it will be available soon. Let me just move the key ring out of the way. Uh, it is a body positive, gender neutral uh, little friend that will understand all languages, of course, and celebrates all religions. It's a completely inclusive friend. Uh, I hope that it brings you some joy and happiness into your life. Uh, thank you so much for joining me this week and I hope to see you next time.